In this video, let us analyze a pure resistive circuit. In any circuit, the voltage current relationship is represented by any one of the terms. Either they are said to be in phase or leading or lagging. So if you take this waveform, you can see that the voltage and the current have the same starting point or the zero crossing of both the waves at every point is same. So in such cases, we call that the waveform voltage and the current are said to be in phase. Though the magnitude is different, they are said to be in phase. Next, we will see about the term lagging. So you see this waveform here, the voltage has started at point zero, whereas the current is starting at some other point. It means that after an angle pi, the current has started. So this we call it as current is lagging the voltage by an angle phi. So for example, you take in any sports, we used to refer this word lag. The team lags by six runs. It means that they are coming behind. So here the current lags the voltage by an angle phi. Next, we will see about leading current. So who is the leader? One who comes first is the leader and those who are coming behind are called lagging. So you take this waveform here, the voltage starts at zero, but this current has started before that. So we call it as current leading the voltage by an angle phi. Next, we will analyze a pure resistive circuit. So what do you mean by that? You are applying a AC voltage to a pure resistance. It means that it doesn't have any inductance or capacitance. Only resistance is here. And the supply voltage or the applied voltage is given by V equal to Vm sin omega t. And what will be the current through this resistor? So this is AC supply. It is connected to a resistor, so current will flow. So this current IR, I can write it as V by R, that is Ohm's law. So I equal to V by R. What is V? Vm sin omega t by R. So I can write it as Im sin omega t, where Im is equal to Vm by R. Next, we will find what is the impedance of a pure resistive circuit. So, Z is equal to V by I. V is equal to Vm sin omega t. I is Im sin omega t. So, that is equal to Vm by Im. Or you can write it like this. So, Vm divided by Im is Vm by R. That is equal to R. So, the impedance, total impedance in a pure resistive circuit will be equal to resistance R. Next, we will see how to represent the voltage and the current. So, V is given by Vm sin omega t and I is Im sin omega t. So, voltage and current, you see, both are sin omega t. So, waveform remains the same or they are said to be in phase. Here the voltage and current are in phase. So if I want to represent in phase a diagram, this is the voltage. Always take voltage as reference. Okay. Or if you take current as reference, mention it as the reference is current. So this is voltage and current will also be in the same line. Because there is no angle difference between these two waveforms. So I you can draw it over it. Since its magnitude is less, I have drawn a short line. 
instantaneous power is given by p is equal to v into i so multiply these two so when you multiply these two waveform both are positive so the power is positive again here both are negative voltage and current are negative so when you multiply these two again you will get a positive power so multiply voltage into current so this is the instantaneous power so instead of omega t you can take it as theta so that it will be easy for calculation next we will find the average power so the average power is given by 1 by pi integral of 0 to pi vm sin im sin square theta into d theta see this is what we have derived in instantaneous power so the same thing instead of omega t we have replaced by theta for simple calculation so what is sin square theta 1 minus cos 2 theta by 2 so you apply the limits 0 to pi here so integral of 1 is theta and cos 2 theta is sin 2 theta by 2 apply the limits 0 to pi so you will get power is equal to vm im by 2 so this is the formula for average power in a pure resistive circuit so this i can write it as vm by root 2 into im by root 2 this 2 i am splitting into root 2 into root 2 so what is vm by root 2 it is nothing but vrms and im by root 2 is irms so the average power in a pure resistive circuit is given by voltage rms into current rms so p is equal to v into i next we will see what do you mean by power factor so the power factor is the cosine of the angle between voltage and current that is what is the angle between these two waveforms in case of pure resistive circuit we have seen that this angle pi is zero so cos phi is 0 cos 0 is 1 so in a pure resistive circuit the power factor is unity or 1 so let us see the important points for a pure resistive circuit the voltage is given by vm sin omega t i is equal to im sin omega t and voltage and current are said to be in phase because both are omega t and this angle phi is 0 so the power factor is 1 and average power is given by vrms into irms and impedance is equal to r if you like the video do subscribe to read electric vehicle channel thank you